everybody, it's Sabak7 and welcome back to more Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D And yeah, today I'm bringing you another bonus episode And this time around we're not gonna do like any side quest or mission or mini games. No, we're not gonna do that Actually, we're gonna explore some easter eggs that are in the game And that we may have missed during the, the main let's play So yeah, that's precisely what I'm gonna do for this episode and I think that um, some of these easter eggs are uh, exclusive to the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time But yeah, anyway guys, let's jump right into it and see those easter eggs Okay, here we go Okay, so now I'm gonna head to London Ranch and we're gonna see a bunch of easter eggs right there uh, As you can see I'm with Adult Link right now So um, yeah, let's just Whoa, come on Epona, let's just get down Epona, and we're gonna see some easter eggs right here. And I want to start off this by saying that, if you guys remember, Ocarina of Time 3S was released uh, some, uh, some months prior to the release of uh, Skyward Sword for the Nintendo Wii and uh, yeah there are some easter eggs right here in the game that actually uh, gives reference to um, Skyward Sword and here's the first one so I have to go in first person view right here for you to see so yeah as you can see here's one of those references to Skyward Sword it's actually one of the po it's yeah it's a poster with some artwork of the game and I know there are more posters of it in Ocarina of Time 3DS so yeah we're gonna look for them in this video uh, so yeah let's watch the other Skyward Sword posters Okay, and now I'm inside the Gerudo's Fortress, and if you remember, uh, right from this place, from the... I don't know if you guys uh, remember this place during the main let's play, but yeah, uh, we were t taken like prisoners or something, and there, there were a lot of Gerudo's and all that stuff, and we end up being caught by them if we kind of screw up and were on their side. But anyway, right in this place, there's actually another one of these uh, Skyward Sword posters. So let me just grab the Megadon Hammer. I guess it will be a lot easier if we grab on the Hammer. Here we go. So, that's it. And that's it guys, here it is. Here's the other Skyward Sword poster. And as you can see, there's more Skyward Sword art right here. Okay, that's one of the others, uh, one of the other posters of Skyward Sword. Uh, okay, so let's jump right into the next one. Okay, and for the next poster of Skyward Sword, you actually need to be uh, as Shy Link, go to Iral Castle Town Market, and you must uh, come here during the night. Then you go to the back alley, and you shall get access to the bomb shoe shop right here. And uh, yeah, during the the main let's play, I think I never came. Uh, I, I, yeah, I never never visited this shop. But yeah, as you can see, we're right here, and we can buy a lot of bomb shoes. But anyway, the poster you want to see is right here on that corner. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there on the left corner, you you can actually see Link swinging his sword. Yeah, that's the third poster of Skyward Sword that is in Ocarina of Time 3DS. Alright. So let me see if I can actually... No, we can't use first person view. So yeah, that's the best shot you can get to the for, for the poster. So there it is, guys. Let's see the next easter egg. Okay, and the next easter egg is also in Iron Castle Town Market. And you can, yeah, you can actually see them right here in Bombshoe Bowling Alley. So, 
As soon as you enter this place, you can see the lady right there, the owner of the Bombshell Bowling Alley. And instead of talking to her, just take on the first person mode view. And there you go. And there's like another poster. This time around, you can see like a Goron <laughs> dancing <laughs> right there. And there's also an, a poster on top. And the, the post on top seems like some kind of masks. I don't know if those are masks from Majora's Mask. I, I don't know. If you guys recall, I don't, uh, if you played at least Majora's Mask, you know that the Epi, uh, Epi Mask Salesman has a lot of masks on, on his back. With like, yeah, he, he has like a backpack and he, he, he carries a lot of masks. And I don't know if all these masks are, all these three masks are some of the, the masks he has on his backpack. But I guess so. And the third one actually seems like Mario. Yeah, it does resemble Mario. Anyway, that's it for this easter egg. So you got the dancing Goron right there on the poster. And you have these three masks right there still in the bombshell bowling alley you can also look to this other side of the room and well to start off you got like a juke box with like <laughs> a symbol of the triforce but besides that you actually have some more newspaper and stuff and yeah the newspaper actually let me see, let's see if i can get closer let's see so we can get a closer look to this okay so yeah there's the newspaper and you can see there's like a, a picture with a sl with the slingshot right up there there's a pona once again and there's also a, a, a marked a marked article with a red border and it seems he talks about uh, the article talks about the the owner of the bomb bowling alley also, there's some kind of picture right here with the Iron uh, Castle, and there's also, I guess that's the dog we, yeah, the dog of the the lady we recovered in one of the, of the previous bonus episodes, and there's also another thing right here from the guy from the windmill. So you see here the alien guards, and there's also, yep. That's the music box from the guy from the windmill, uh, the one who, who teaches us the um, the, so the, um, the storm song. Anyway, guys, I guess that's it for this for the Easter eggs in uh, bom in the bomb uh, bowling alley. So yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay, and now we're inside Melon's room. But uh, yeah, we are, we are Shy Link, and there's actually another Easter egg right here. So, well, there are some drawings right there, but I guess with uh, of Malan and all that stuff. I don't really know if that is too much important or not. But yeah, there are some drawings right here from Malan with some cuckoos and all that stuff. And besides that, there is also a special drawing right, right behind this spot. So after you break these jars, after you break these spots, you will see this drawing from Malan and Talon. And yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny they put this right here, because uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, during the, the 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 main story, I guess I had never seen this before. But yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Anyway, now we're done with that. We're gonna see actually some other Easter eggs as Adult Link right in this room. Okay, let's see, guys. Okay, so still in Long Run Ranch in Ingo's room. Well, it's in it's Ingo's room now as you are an adult. Uh, you can see some other stuff right here, and one of the <laughs> one of, a great Easter egg I like about this is. Here, as you can see, you can watch 
uh, yeah, you can actually see like a portrait of Ganondorf right on top of Ingo's bed. And if you remember during the main storyline during the last play, uh, Ingo was kind of working for Ganondorf and giving him like some, yeah, he was training uh, Ganondorf's horses and all that stuff. So it's really great to know that Ganondorf is kind of been watching for Ingo all this time. And yeah, it's right there. Another thing is that this newspaper, as you can see right here, you can see the scarecrow right there. You can see, I think that's Epona, and over there you can see like one of the um, uh, one of the pictures of Ingo when he was like the um, when, well when he took off London Ranch for himself. At least I think so. I don't know. I guess it's Ingo right there. Is it or is it Malan? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, I guess that's all the easter eggs for Long Run Ranch, so let's keep moving. Okay, and then we have one in Kakeriko Village, and to be honest, I really like this one. Uh, so, um, during the main storyline, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was this house in Kakeriko Village that was supposed to be Himpa's house before she became uh, Zelda's attendant. And yeah, uh, during the, the, the main let's play, maybe we didn't look too much at this, but actually there are a lot of references of the world adventure, of the world game. And here they are guys. As you can see, there are many pictures right here, and each of these pictures kind of represent the items we find during the storyline. So, let me just show all of them to you. So as you can see, there's some kind of crystal right here, and some kind of prison and gates, and I guess that's pretty much the end of the game actually when Zelda gets kinda trapped inside a crystal and there are th these gates um, in uh, Ganon's castle besides that we also see like right here on the bottom an empty bottle and a fairy so yeah it tells us that we can catch fairies with the, our bottles right up there as you can see there's also a, a symbol with like a, uh, a floating man and a floating boat, you know, the hovering boots. And that kind of, that must represent what happened in the Shadow Temple when we had to cross that, um, yeah, that kind of broken bridge, you know. Besides that, you also get like um, Megaton Hammer icons right here when we can activate some some uh, some um, switch and we can also destroy some rocks and boulders and then we have all these references here to the ocarina of time when we have to play zelda's lullaby we also have to play the song of time and here i guess yeah that's gotta be the thing we had to use for the spirit table or something where where we had to push the the statue to activate the um, yeah that switch there's another one right behind. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there behind the table, there's one with uh, Lord Jabu Jabu, and we're giving some fish. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff representing the main storyline. We got the blue fire. We got the boomerang. With uh, 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 here, we can actually see the boomerang eating some kind of tentacle. So that gotta be also inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. There's also, let me see, I don't know what these icons are, actually, these two ones. I guess I have to figure that out later. But yeah, as you can see, there's uh, there are a lot of stuff. Oh, here, you can see that thing that we can use the, the arrows to to light up things, you know? And also to to hit the, the eye icons. There's also the iron map right here. And... Here, as you can see, if I change the views, you can actually see a symbol of the mirror shield and the sun, telling us that the mirror shield will be used to reflect sunlight. So as you can see, Impa's house is full of, of drawings, of, uh, of many pictures, that represents what happened during the main storyline. 
And what's funny is that it, it, it's like somebody already knew what's what's going to happen. Another little Easter egg there is is this book. As you can see here, it's not like a Easter egg, but yeah, you can see this book is uh, as like a, a shake symbol, a symbol of the shake, and yeah, it kind of represents the the tribe that Impa belonged to. So yeah, it's not really a Easter egg this one, but yeah, it's a really cool thing. So yeah, let's keep moving. There are some is uh, some other Easter eggs in Kakariko Village. So yeah, let's see them, guys. Okay, so now we're going inside the shooting gallery. And here there's some more shake stuff. So yeah, you're gonna see. Right here using the first person view, you can see more shake symbols. And not only that, but you can also see some alien stuff, some alien language. I don't know what this really means, all these letters. Uh, I guess there are some dictionaries online with alien language. So maybe if you guys look out for this, you you will find out what what is written right here. I don't know to be honest, but yeah. I guess it will be kind of curious and pretty interesting to find out what is written here. Anyway, there's still another easter egg in Kakariko Village right in the potion shop, so let's jump right into it. Okay, and let's get inside the potion shop and... As you can see, there's another of these shaker books. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here in this corner... Oh, I, I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's some kind of book right there. Uh, with the same colors as the one that was inside Himpa's house. It's really tricky, it's in the corner. Let me see if I can kind of focus this. Let me see, guys. Can you see it clearer now? It's right there. Anyway, I guess that's pretty much what you can find out in Kakariko Village. So yeah, let's jump right to some other easter egg. Okay, so this one is not really an easter egg, it's actually a, a fun fact if you can call it like that. But anyway, if you guys remember the first time we tried to talk to one of these ghostly stones, back in Kokiri Forest when we were just Shy Link, there was a specific ghostly stone that had a board next to it. And the board said there was uh, a certain way to talk to the ghostly stones. And yeah, now we know that we can actually use the Mask of Truth to talk to the to these kind of stones as I've shown you in one of my previous bonus episodes the one dedicated to the Happy Mask Shop side quest but actually if you try to do some other stuff to try to talk to the ghost of stones well you're gonna get some funny reactions and you can actually do this to any kind of ghost of stones so right now I decide to use this one from the Lost Woods so here we go Imagine you want to test out what happened to this stone if you use the Megaton Hammer. Well, you wanna know what happens? Let's see, guys. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. The stone gets... <laughs> yeah, it gets smacked and it gets on the ground. It's pretty hilarious. Now, let's try to, to see what happens if you use a special arrow. Let's see. What about an ice arrow? Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. And yeah, that's pretty strange, but that's what happens. Exactly. The stone starts turning and turning, <laughs> and then, well, yeah, it's really strange, actually. Let's try this once again. Maybe, no, let me try it with, uh, with a fire arrow and see if the same thing happens or not. Yeah, it seems so. Yeah, that's really strange. Another reaction you can get from the stone and this one well it's even strange see guys i'm gonna drop a bomb right here and a timer is gonna start look at it some kind of counter and then the stone goes on flying <laughs> like if it was a rocket oh man that's really strange and there it goes it keeps moving <laughs> upward 
And now you can't see it anymore. Oh man, the, yeah. So yeah, that, those are some kind of... Uh, yeah, it is strange, but I guess it's still funny. Because many people may have tried this when... Well, maybe they didn't know in the first place you need like the Mask of Truth to talk to the Gossip Stones. And they tried a lot of stuff to, to see what happens. And yeah, that's exactly what happens when you try a lot of different stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know if... This this is kind of a easter egg, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, and now we're in Lake Ilia, and we're gonna visit, well, it's not really an easter egg, but it's actually kind of um, a funny thing, um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if, it, I guess it's supposed to be that way, but uh, maybe you can't consider this an easter egg, but it, it's pretty hilarious, you, you, you're gonna see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to the fishing pound, and if you guys remember during the let's play, um, I visited this place when I was Shia Link, but I guess I didn't visit it when I was adult link or maybe i did i i don't remember to I, I'll be honest but i know i visited when i was shy link and if you recall this guy didn't have this hat on his head he didn't have this cap and actually i guess that if you talk to him for the first time when you're adult link or something he will tell you that uh, he will tell you not to ask about this new kind of look you know about the ad and all that stuff so yeah let me see if he talks about that right now no he doesn't but I, I know I, I, the first time I talked to him when I was Adult Link, he, he said something about uh, uh, about his hat or something, and he tells not to to worry about that. And you're gonna see why. Actually, let me see if I. Oh, let's talk about something. I know. I guess that's when you say that. No. No, I don't remember to be honest. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, but I know he says something about the the ad and to not ask any questions about it. And you know why? Well, you're gonna see pretty soon. So you're gonna try to use the <laughs> the fishing rod on his head, and there we go. What? Why are you doing this to me? So yeah, as you can see, the guy became bold so yeah <laughs> it's been like seven years and the guy became bold and that's why he used this hat so yeah <laughs> if you remove his hat he gets all mad with you and it's pretty funny because you 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 go walking around with his hat on the fishing road <laughs> pretty hilarious but anyway let's talk to the guy once again hey what are you doing i told you not to do that you're terrible seriously Give me back my hat. Okay, let's give him back his arm <laughs> hat. Anyway, you're a kind of hearted kid, but don't tell anyone about this, seriously. So, yeah, I guess that was it. And <laughs> as you see, I, I, I guess that's not a, like, um, that's not like a Easter egg, but it's something pretty funny to, to be included in the game. I mean, the guy became older and he lost his hair. <laughs> and he, yeah, he, he's kind of avoiding everyone to see that he became bald. <laughs> And it's pretty hilarious. Anyway, I guess that was it for this video of Easter eggs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know if I'm gonna do any other video about Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, let me know, guys. Would you like to, to me to do uh, uh, another video, but this time around, instead of being like Easter eggs, to be like glitches or something because uh, yeah there are still i know that the n64 version has a lot of glitches and sometimes people use these glitches to actually make speed runs and all that stuff but in ocarina of time 3d there are still some glitches i don't know if you can use them for for speed runs or anything like that maybe you can't but i know there are still some glitches and are pretty funny uh, and uh, I don't know, would you like me to do a video about these glitches or not, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, if you want, I, I could do another video. Uh, besides that, I guess that, uh, yeah, I, I, pr I pretty much explore all the kind of stuff you could explore for this game, to be honest. 
um and yeah that's it so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like it add it to your favorites you can always also leave me your comments in the comment section below you can follow me on twitter like me on facebook and if you didn't already can you okay you can always subscribe to my channel because yeah i really appreciate all the support you guys can give me and yeah it really helps the channel grow anyway that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Bye, guys.